right, gents, I want a clean, fair fight. No blasting each other on social media, selling user data, and no using literal sharks. Are you kidding me? Only one of you can get the title tonight, so without any further ado, let's get this Clash of the Titans ready. ExpressVPN, Surfshark, and NordVPN. Hey gang, I hope your lives have been and continue to be great. I could probably stop with this now. Thanks for stopping by to see the fight of the century. If you have seen some of our previous reviews, you'll know about Surfshark, ExpressVPN, and NordVPN. All three are excellent options, but only one can be the best. Check out our description for some serious deep discounts for all three VPNs. To find out which of these VPNs are the best, we plan on reviewing them by security, speed, features, cost, and ease of use. We will start with the most critical aspects of VPNs, security and privacy. When comparing all three VPNs, it's essential to ask three different questions. What encryption and tools do they use? Where are they based? Do they have a logging policy? Do they have a history of leaks? When answering questions one, two, and three, I'm happy to say that all three pass the basic privacy test. All three use AES-256 GCM, the industry standard for military grade encryption. All three have a clear no-logs policy, and all three are registered in security havens. NordVPN is in Panama, while Express and Surfshark are part of the British Virgin Islands. All three are under no obligation to submit security checks and secure your data from government groups and local authorities. You'll also find that all three companies have gone through third-party audits. This shows accountability meaning that you can trust all three VPN providers with your data. When it comes to logging policies, things get a bit unusual. NordVPN had a data breach about three years ago, but it has gone through security audits to address this. ExpressVPN is owned by Cape Technologies, a company known for malware injection and insider trading. <gasps> While you might say that Cape has turned over a new leaf, Surfshark doesn't have the same questionable past. As a result, they win the overall security comparison. NordVPN is in second, while ExpressVPN trails in third place. Okay, now let's take a look at speed. At this point, you might expect three different speed dials comparing the VPNs. However, this is a spotty way of determining speed because I'm not everywhere. So we have to dig into the number of countries they reside in and their supported VPN protocols. Both Surfshark and NordVPN support the speedier VPN protocol, WireGuard. NordLynx is Nord's version of WireGuard, which shows ridiculously high speeds based on testing. ExpressVPN is the only one of the three with its unique VPN protocol, Lightway. Lightway has some speed potential and relies on an open source code that you can find on GitHub. ExpressVPN does not support WireGuard. The second half of our question comes back to server count. Surfshark has 3,000 servers in more than 65 countries, while NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers in 60 countries. ExpressVPN focuses on a broader spread, offering 95 countries and 160 servers. The wider spread gives VPN a higher potential to be faster for more people in more locations. There are no known speed issues. ExpressVPN wins the speed competition with NordVPN in second and Surfshark in third. If speed is a concern for you, always pick VPNs with numerous servers in your country. You can also select a nearby country with similar effects. Our next stop is features. Having more features enable you to appeal to a broader audience. But given the number of buzzwords used by VPN providers, you might feel like you're in a beehive. So what features are actually helpful? Well, let's find out together. All three providers have these helpful features. A kill switch that automatically disconnects when your VPN server fails. Split tunneling features allow you to have different applications connect to different servers. And multi-hop, which will enable you to mask behind two locations. Multi-hop is only available under Surfshark and NordVPN, which allows you to hide within two servers. Each VPN service also has unique features. Surfshark and NordVPN also include additional threat protection with antivirus software. They also both provide multi-factor authentication, a must-have in modern security, to verify that you're the one accessing your essential accounts. ExpressVPN and NordVPN both have limits of five and eight devices respectively. Surfshark's most crucial feature is using it across unlimited devices, working across all major operating systems, mobile devices, and browsers. 
This feature saves you time in selecting what devices should be most secure. NordVPN bites back with one enhanced security feature, Onion over VPN which combines support and integration from the incredibly secure Tor Onion network. I mean, just look at how secure that is. Beautiful. Wow! Beautiful! As a result of these features, NordVPN is number one on this list, mainly because of its unique Tor-based offering. Surfshark is just short of offering the same features, while ExpressVPN gets the bronze medal. But with all these fantastic features, how much can you expect to pay for these services? Contrary to popular belief, money doesn't talk. Hello? Hello? See? However, if you listen carefully, you can hear your wallet cry any time that you pay too much for VPN services. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. We got you. Thankfully, there is one clear winner in this one. Surf Dark. <laughs> For those willing to pay for two years up front, Surfshark costs less than $3 per month. NordVPN comes in at a close second at just below $4 per month for two years. Meanwhile, ExpressVPN's best discount is $8.32 per month for one year. As is typical for VPNs, there is no free trial or version available. However, you can get a 30-day money-back guarantee if you buy the higher level plans. So digging into this, Surfshark, Nord, Express, gets the gold, silver, and bronze medals, respectively. So, good news, little friend. You'll be safe for another day. Our last section delves into ease of use. So how do these three platforms look across the board? NordVPN has paid the most of its design team, dominating most of the screen with a world map. The world map is pretty and gives you a good physical representation of how far away you are from these servers. However, this means the actual features and everything are cluttered to one side of the screen. ExpressVPN does better, offering a pretty simple interface with a recognizable on-off button. It's relatively easy to navigate between different server lists and choose specific protocols. However, the radio button selection does feel a little bit dated. Lastly, Surfshark does better when sorting between multi-hop options, favorite lists, or static IP options. A lot of the image space is given to their logo, limiting some potential. Regardless of the left-facing navigation menu, NordVPN offers the best interface. So we're looking at Nord in first, Express in second, and Surfshark in last place. However, every interface has some small nitpicky things about it. <coughs> And our winner is Surfshark! <laughs> so, to clarify, Surfshark gets the gold medal, NordVPN gets the silver medal, and ExpressVPN gets the bronze medal. All three are excellent VPNs that mark some of the industry's best. However, Surfshark mainly wins based on its high security standards, relatively fast speeds, and access to unlimited devices. Despite barely losing out on features, it's an incredibly close contest between Nord and Surfshark. Surfshark may be one of our favorite VPNs, but which is yours? Leave us your comments below and let us know your thoughts and hit the like and subscribe button while you're at it. Oh, and don't forget to check out that description box below to get good deals on those VPNs. Thanks for watching.